Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Pillin' Barbecue. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Fireboard Spark. It's an instant read thermometer, but it's a whole lot more. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video, like I said, it's going to be an unboxing and review of the Fireboard Spark. Um, I've had this for several weeks now and I haven't used it yet because I wanted to do this video. So I'm doing this video this morning so I can get it out of the box and start using it because I'm ready to, I'm ready to see what it's all about. Uh, we're going to unbox it now and see how it comes packaged. We've got, uh, instructions. See what else. So you've got other useful temperatures, all kind of temperatures in here. Temperature guide. That's pretty good to have. Um, certificate of calibration. So that's good to know. And your little booklet, Fireboard Spark booklet. So I've done uh, some research on it already and this, get that out, is your fireboard spark. Now one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is it's pretty heavy. I think it's about a gram heavier than a uh, Thermopin Mark IV. Um, let's take the, so you've got a plastic coating over the lens. So you can take that off, but it's really nice. So you can set it like that if you want to. Uh, there's magnets on the back, so you can magnetically stick it to your grill, your oven inside if you're using it inside to uh, monitor any kind of meats that you might have in your oven as well. So pretty nice. So first let's talk about uh, just comparing it to another instant read thermometer. So you've got a swivel uh, thermocouple uh, just like a regular instant read thermometer. Okay, Now you can orient this it'll orient however you want it to. Okay, So it's ambidextrous. So that's pretty nice. The, the numbers on it are really large, so they're easy to see in daylight or at night. The quickness of accuracy, uh, some tests have been done between this and the thermal pen, and this is between like 0.2 and 0.25 seconds, you know, it's so like a quarter of a second within uh, the quickness of a thermal pen. So right there with it, uh, you know, around a second and a half, two seconds, and you have a nice reading. Also with this, when you get a good reading and this is confirmed uh, by the unit, you'll get a little vibration letting you know, okay, it's done taking the temperature and this is what it is. So really nice there. So all in all, um, this is exactly like any other instant read thermometer. Now let's get into other features. Now what separates this from other instant read thermometers is on the end you've got a little cap that you can unfold. And right in here there's a USB-C uh, connection and that's how you charge the internal battery. So the battery in this thing is chargeable. You also have a probe port in the unit as well. Now here's where it gets interesting. So you guys with Weber kettles, you guys with offset smokers. For example, I could use this on my offset smoker so I can plug in a compatible meat probe to the fireboard spark, insert it in the meat, and this now becomes a dashboard for my meat probe. So I can put it magnetically onto the outside of the grill, I can put it on the shelf, and I can monitor my meat temperatures on any grill that I have. Um, and that sets it apart from 
your average instant read thermometer. Also, this is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable. So you can connect this to the Fireboard app and you can control, uh, I believe you can control functions from the Fireboard app or the menu on the actual Fireboard Spark. Um, on the other end, opposite of the Meat Probe area, there's a little button that accesses the menu. And you can scroll through the menu and change things such as the contrast of the screen. Uh, you can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius um, and that kind of thing. A lot of different things are in the menu and I haven't had a chance to look at them yet because obviously it's been in the box. Um, the other thing that you can do is this thing has a sync mode. So for example, I have the Yoder YS640S out there. I can sync this to my YS640 because it has a fireboard controller on it as well and use this as a monitor for my YS640. Now, my YS640, I have the uh, fireboard app on my telephone as well, my cell phone. But instead of having to pull out my cell phone and use its battery and resources, I can just connect it through this Fireboard Spark and use it as a monitor, set it on the tabletop uh, inside the house, and I can use it to monitor my temperatures and see what's going on. Also, it will also tell me the temperature of the probe, just like the screen on the actual grill. This is an actual mobile screen, if you will, for uh, my YS640, so that's really cool as well. Now the Fireboard Spark has a battery save feature. Um, if you're using it for just uh, a standard instant read thermometer, if it is stationary for 10 minutes, it will automatically cut off. If it's in sync mode, however, and you're using it for a monitor, it will go for 30 minutes in sync mode and then it will cut off. But while it is off, it is still sending information to the cloud, um, I think every minute. Uh, I have to double check that, but it's still sending information to the cloud so you can look it up on the Fireboard app and still see what's going on even though it's shut down to save battery life. Now I have seen videos where people did a test on the battery um, like in sync mode for a continuously long cook, say a long brisket cook, and it'll last between 15 and 20 solid steady hours. Um, if you're using it, Fireboard says that if you're using it just for regular, uh, you know, instant read capabilities, that one charge will last up to a year on this thing. So it just really depends on how you're going to use it. Now, once it's in sleep mode, all you have to do is touch it and kind of give it a little vibration and that automatically wakes it up. So um, it's really pretty easy as far as that, that's concerned. Now they do recommend that if you have Wi-Fi that you connect this to Wi-Fi because then it's going to automatically update anytime that they do some software changes. It will automatically update the unit so you never have to worry about manually updating the Fireboard Spark. Now in the menu as well in the Fireboard Spark there's an auto hold feature. And what that does is when you use the instant read thermometer part and you take a temperature It'll vibrate, confirm the temperature, and then hold that temperature and send it to the cloud. So on auto hold, every time you take a temperature and it holds it, it will send it to the cloud. So that's something that you can go into the app and look back on and say, okay, at uh, 12 o'clock I started the brisket, at two o'clock it was at this temperature, at three o'clock it was at, at this temperature, at four o'clock it was at this temperature. So it's going to auto hold it and send it to the cloud so you can look up uh, those readings, which is pretty convenient. The last thing that I'm going to cover is something that may not be interesting to uh, the average backyard barbecue guy, and I may not ever use it. I'm not sure. Uh, it may come in useful one day on the barbecue trailer. But on the back, there's an NFC scanner. And so what that does is like for a restaurant, for example, if they have tags on all of their meats in their freezer, they can go in there and scan that. And again, this Fireboard Spark will uh, record that temperature. And you can put, uh, say this was lead quarters. That's the temperature of the lead quarters in the freezer uh, for that. 
you can scan another one. Uh, say that was ground beef. It's going to record that and uh, record the temperature of that and send it to the cloud. So say if you're having a health inspection, for example, you come in, you've got all that data from the Fireboard Spark on the app uh, of the temperatures of all the meats that are in your freezer. So that's, that's pretty convenient for you restaurant guys. Uh, something to think about there. Overall, so far, um, I like the way this thing feels. It feels a lot more robust than the Thermworks uh, Thermopin Mark IV. Um, I've had the Mark IV for a long time and it's done a great job. However, now the my screen is cracked and moisture is starting to get into the screen so I don't know how much longer that that's going to last. Other than that, it's performed really well. This feels a lot heavier. Um, kind of like uh, maybe some aluminum on the front. I'm really not sure. But then it's kind of rubberized on the ends. But it feels like it would stand up to a lot more abuse, in my opinion, but we will see. Um, I'll probably do an update video at some point after I get to use it, uh, but I'm really looking forward to using it. This unit is 150, to, 150 bucks. I think the Thermalworks Mark IV at that time when I purchased it was, I think, around $100. Uh, I'm not sure what they are now. But for all the other features that you get uh, with this, I think it's something to look into and it's made in the USA. So uh, give it a look. If you like this video and you got something of value, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please share this video. And until next time, we'll be piddling. See you.